That victory will be made manifest. You have it already. Hello? Not because you want to have the victory. No, the victory is, is already available. But it begins to be manifest. You will see that with your confession, with your prayer of faith, devil begin to lose his power. The enemy begin to run away. Oppression begin to give way. That sickness will be healed. That oppression will go. That poverty will find one. Say, this one he understands his right she understands who she is in christ jesus she understands what is already provided you know for her hallelujah that is how the victorious people that is the way they think hallelujah the bible says he has made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile can you see now to redeem the word reconcile is to redeem all things unto himself Jesus has redeemed us unto himself. If you are born again, Jesus has redeemed all things unto himself. Hallelujah. Yes, he redeemed. Exchange. Exchange took place. He redeemed all things to himself. What does that mean? It means that, yes, that thing that you are suffering, he has redeemed you from it unto himself. He has paid with his blood. His blood has silenced them. You cannot pray this person be because of this price, he now belongs to me. Hello? Oh, you can't you can you can't be poor. You can't be poor. Why? Yes, I paid it. Because I became poor so that he might be rich. And therefore, he is now redeemed, reconciled back to me. Oh, you cannot oppress me with sickness against and disease. Because I have took away sickness, sickness. Because by stripes, I, I mean, you know, he's healed. I have paid for that sickness and disease. And that's why you cannot continue to oppress him with sickness. He's reconciled unto myself. He now belongs to me. Satan, you does not longer belong to you. Where you can oppress him. Why? A transaction has taken place. An exchange has taken place. A repositioning has taken place. Is somebody hearing me? The Bible says we are translated, we are changed from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of Jesus, the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. He said that all things are reconciled unto himself. Amen. Whether the things on earth or the things in heaven. Everything on earth redeemed back to himself. You have a right to it. Even things in the eternity, you have a right to it. Things that eyes have not seen, things that ears have not heard. The Bible says that has not come through the thinking of people, you have access to it. That is what this transaction, what this exchange has brought to us. Say amen. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 7 says. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not wisdom of words. Listen to this. Lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. So that, he said that I am preaching the gospel not with ideas. Listen to me, church. Motivational speakers is good. inspirational thought is good how to be a millionaire how to have a successful career they are good you can listen to it and some things and you begin to change your orientation and say well I can succeed I can do my business I can be good that's good but it is different from the gospel the gospel is a package that contains everything but the difference there is that we say that after you have tried all this, you have done everything there is God's factor Amen is somebody listening to me? there is a place of committing it to God's hand because the best of man can still be destroyed by the enemies 
you have not seen people that are were high up there but now they are down all the economy theory has failed them <laughs> praise god somebody get what i'm saying the economy theories has failed them it has worked for them over the years amen as a trained psychologist all our all the uh, the, the propounded of psychological theories many of them hang themselves many of them died in depression some of the things you say now that yes uh, plato yeah aristotle ah, this and that you claim them uh, this one is a philosopher he propounded this theory propounded that theory go and look many of them they died in the opposite of what they propose or what they propounded knowledge is something but god in your life make a lot of difference shout hallelujah Eh? you have not seen rich people that have run mental you have not seen somebody who is a professor that is crazy that is crazy <laughs> amen all those things why why can't he redeem himself by the knowledge that he carries no so if any man is in christ is a new creation is recreated is a new being all right all things are passed away all things have become new when you are in Christ, you are a new creation. I am a new creation. I am a brand new man. Hello? People don't know what is the benefits of being born again. That you repent of your sin, you invite Jesus to your life, you have done it this money, you are a brand new man. Everybody say brand new. Say it again. Do you know that they are already making Honda 2024 is ready it's in the market now we're in 2023 they have done 2024 model Abi. it is already in the market they are no longer of course they don't produce 2023 again they are producing 2024 i know people in the u.s now that their specs now is 2024 model they are already buying it now can you compare a brand new whether it is a Camry or I mean Toyota or Honda or, or Ford, all right, can you compare it that model with the one that has been drawn 20 years ago? Hello? It's a brand new. May the Lord give you and me blessing to have brand new cars. When you have brand new car, apart from the guarantee that you buy it from the garage and say for the next three years service free praise god amen for two three years you are not going to do anything on that car hallelujah there are some of our cars that are very close to brand new well not because we have not used brand new car amen hallelujah but when you see some of those cars now that even brand new now eight years old nine years old amen for a whole one year we may not put water. Are you listening to me? You don't put water. He died. We, we have forgotten that he uses water. Praise God. For two months, three months, you don't even open the water compartment. Because if you open it, it's full there. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you know what Yoruba called Jomi Jepo? Amen when you put what when you as you are putting fuel then you are putting water ah this is the radiator water you don't know whether it's a, it's a the radiator is leaking or not you put water again and you have car how many of you know people who have car and you to put water in the keg and put in the boot god will deliver you your amen is is not uh, it's not hot i said god will deliver you you are driving the car you still put water in that keg you put in the boot say because you know that you don't know you can get to a place and say ah you doing overeating all those cars don't do overeating they don't know what overeating is hello you know the, 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 you, some of those modern cars instead for it to do overeating it will shut down by itself if the oil is not gauged ah it's not ah I didn't know the oil has gone down no it will stop itself you will start it will not answer you that mechanism is there 
Instead for do over you, he will shut down. I beg, good thing good, new thing good. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. So when we say you come into Jesus, the Bible says you are a brand new man. You are a new creation. Amen. You are brand new. Why? An exchange has taken place. Jesus has paid for your sin. You are now a clean person. So what did they want to remind you? I used to be a fornicator. Keep your mouth shut. Who called you into this matter? We are talking about matter of the kingdom. You are putting your mouth. How many of you understand that kind of thing? They say, what's your problem there? We are talking about family matter. Are you a member of our family? Go to places, I beg. Praise God. That's the way to tell the devil. I say, hey, do you think that all those abortion of so years ago, God has to keep your mouth shut? We are talking about the matter of the kingdom, family matter. What comes, are you a member of this family? Go to places. Amen. That's how you have to treat the devils from today. Why? An exchange has taken place. When they say, ah, hey, Kiriko, Kiriko, you see, hey, da, Kiriko, you cannot live in victorious life. Hey, Kiriko, they want to keep your mouth shut. Any voice that's speaking against the word of God, keep your mouth shut. Any something, anybody see anything, it does not matter to you. I say, hey, this and that, you can't have recruit. Nobody can cause you. The Bible says you are a costless person. What else? By that exchange, you are a brand new creature. You are a costless. You don't know what it means? You are a costless person. Any if anybody tries, do you know what the Bible says again? Eh? He said, whosoever costs you is cost. So, your life is back to sender. You understand what I'm saying? In Yoruba language, Praise God. In those days, that in the mission field where God helped us and the Baba Baba Tafa, you know, gave his life to Christ. <clears throat> he was the head of the Abalis in 400 villages. Baba Tafa was the head. And when Babatava got born again, ah, in his 80s, when he gave his life to cry in the village there, Babatava, we say he should bring all his charms. He brought it out to put fire to burn it. And you see some 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 sham. You know how it entered into that body, you can never you can't explain it. They call it to enter. And Baba, so Baba, Baba, he was so, he received mercy of God. We'll be coming as a pastor. Ah. Hey, Rini, as you are coming, he's just going to Jesus. So, said the Son of God, said, He just told me that all the things that I've eaten that cannot be physical, I should be using my hand to press it. Can you see deliverance? Amen. To destroy it. This and that. This and that. My papa, papa was born again. When he died, we went to go and, you know, we had the one went to the village too, you know. You know he's a Muslim and at the same time, he's a traditionalist, a whatever. But we are there to honor the man. Praise God. But why I went to that story is that there was a particular, you know, in the village because if Baba Tafa, if you offend him, he does not need to curse you before you are cursed. And he has changed. He has given his life to Christ. And uh, somebody felt that he offended. A woman felt that she has offended Baba Tafa. You know, when he was going, maybe he did not say, maybe he did, he, did, he, did, he did something. And said, Baba Tafa, that's all right. He now came to one of our, our pastors and said, ah, please help me to beg. Please pray for me, uh, Baba Tafa. Ah, Baba Tafa, yeah, you don't know that Baba. So, do you see that, that house? That have become deserted to the Dahoro, eh? It is Babatafa. This house, this house, this house. He said, if you sin against Babatafa, he does not need to talk. You are finished. So the woman believed that his race is finished because he has sinned against Babatafa. Can you see how people can get juju to the extent that if you talk bad about him, he's not there. You are finished. 
whether he hears or he does not hear, it does not matter. But look at the Christian. You are afraid to sleep. They will come again. Who? Who are they? Hallelujah. And some people say, ah, they have come again. Who are they? If any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. Your life is eat in Christ. You are kept inside Christ and Christ inside God. Who can touch you? That is the victory of the cross. That is victorious living. That is how to live a life of freedom. If any man, the Bible says, whosoever calls you, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us. That's the first example. Uh, Galatians three thirteen. Christ has redeemed us. Can you see now? Has bought us, but has reconciled us to Himself. Has redeemed us from the causes of the law, every cause of the law, every cause of man. He said, "You has been made a cause because that is the exchange. He took the cause. He released the blessing. See that the blessings of Abraham." might come upon the gentile we are sons of abraham amen and the bible says that you see the cost upon the costless shall not stand the bible says that whosoever costs you shall be cost whosoever bless shall be what shall be blessed can you see now why do you why are you bothering yourself that somebody is saying he will cost you he will fight you let him go and try it he's already if he raised battle against you all right he's a finished person already but because your fear did not allow, you know, heaven to act on your behalf because you don't believe this transaction we are talking about. Jesus said, it is finished. It is finished. Shout hallelujah. That, I say shout hallelujah. He said, the cross of Jesus has effect. But when I begin to think like man, speak the language of man the cross will not have effect the cross of god is effectual the cross of jesus has effect but if you don't put your faith in this transaction that happened on the cross it's as if the cross does not have effect look at verse 18 he said for the preaching of the cross when we are preaching about the cross is it just the available the kind cross we are talking about what are we talking about? The person who died on the cross. Amen. When you talk about Christ, it's not your pendant we are talking about. We are talking about Jesus who died on the cross. When we are talking about the preaching of the cross, the preaching of the cross is just telling you about the price that the Son of Man paid when he released his life to be crucified on that cross. He now said the preaching of the cross, which is the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, is that the preaching of the cross is to them that perish. What? Foolishness. When you are talking about Jesus being the savior, you talk about Jesus who said he's finished, you talk about Jesus who has prayed with his life, you talk about the blood of Jesus that cleanses sin and the power of the cross that says sin shall not have dominion over you the victory we have through the, the, the cross that the blood of jesus is of effect the cross of effect you are delivered you are a brand new creature the bible now says that for those who lack the understanding of the preaching of the cross it is foolishness to them but it will be dangerous for you to be coming to church and the cross is still foolishness to you when you say it's foolishness, okay, I can answer ye. What is this? Ordinary cross. What is it? Because of ignorance. Say so it is foolishness to those who are perishing. If any man does not believe in the message of the cross and everything that I've been talking about about Jesus down the cross, shedding his blood, if you don't have faith in it, that person that such a person is a foolish person. But for those of us who are saved, is what? Read it from his what? Is the power of God. There is a power of God. The cross has effect. There is a power of God through the cross of Jesus Christ. Let me stop here this morning. What are we saying? I said this month, talk about victorious living. And victorious living is because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. 
not what you want to do. Hello? If there is anything you need to do, it's just faith in the finished works of Christ. Faith in what Jesus Christ has done, okay? Appropriating it, believing it, it settles it. It doesn't, I say I give my life to Jesus, it does not change my height. Especially if you have, if your height, so that if you have grown to the level that you cannot grow again. Okay? I said, ah, because I'm born again, I'm going to be taller. No. Oh, because I'm born again, I am black skin, I must change to white skin. No. And let me shock you, Jesus is not a white man. Praise God. Jesus is not, when he was here, he was not American. He was not a European. Hallelujah. Yes, in the land of Israel. And you want to say, ah, okay, the color, well, go and look at the color of people in Egypt. The same thing, that of uh, Jesus. Are uh, you getting my point now? Go and look at other color of some people, you know, it's just like that. It's not as white as a European or white. Are you getting my point now? So, and when we talk about who are the people that have contact with Jesus first, is the African. African, it is the black race that has contact with Jesus first. When Jesus could not carry his cross, you know, the man from Nazar, what is God's name now? You know, not Aramatia, the man, the Cyrene, Simons of Cyrene, that helped Jesus to carry his cross was a black man. Where were the white then? When it was the black man that identified with you. You know what it means? If he was not a disciple of Jesus, they would not ask him to come and carry the cross of Christ. He identified with Jesus. That shame, to carry the cross, the things of shame. That okay, your guy cannot carry this in again, he's fired. Oh, yeah. If you say you are his follower, oh, yeah, come and carry it. And the man did not say yes, I did not know him. He did not run away. He was there. Are you listening to me? So if somebody say hey, he's, the, he's, the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the religion of the white. Because the preaching of the cross is foolishness. They are fools. To those who are perishing. But for those of us who understand the message, it is the power of God. So we are here this month to unleash this power which will launch us to victorious living. That you are to live in victory, not in fear. You know, some of you I used to see you on Facebook. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, some of you I see you. Uh, you see, they say amen, 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 amen. Say amen three times. All this kind. I see you. I see so many. I just keep quiet. And then some of you that still go to prophet's house. Some of you now, they say, yeah, bring water. Ah, Ushu Bababa. It is the month of Bababa. Eh? That we are in. The month of Bababa. That, oh yeah, come and pray. There nothing with Bababa in my life. And eh? carry water. Bring Ururu. Bring everything. Psst. There is no difference between January and September. There is no difference between August and December. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All the days, the month, God created them alike. It is the Greek people that put January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. You understand that? It is human language. That's why if you go to the land of Israel, this month we are in has their own name. You read in the Bible, I uh, say in the month of uh, Suri, Kilikon, you don't understand that? You know, you will hear some in the month of Kilikon, Kilikon, when Esther, uh, the year of Esther, they would mention the month. There is their own language. So, but now we, because we are ignorant of the power of the cross, of the power of Jesus, of the this last statement of Jesus, it is finished that you are free. We are still entangled with fears in the name of prayers. You begin to pray. Ah, all the things that is Bobo Ajalu, Bobo Shuba Baba, Bobo Ajalu, Nuno Shui, Oju Ba Ba Ba. Oh yeah, Ba. Oti Ba Mo Ba Ba Ba. Oti Ba 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 Ba. Oti Ba. Ah, Oh yeah, Ba Dua. Boruko Jesu Le Meje. Bobo Ba Ba Ba. Oh yeah, Koba She Ba Mi Ano. Ignorance. Shout hallelujah. Are you praying? You are praying in ignorance. The Bible says that the evil one will not touch me. I am translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of, the, of, 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 of his son Jesus. The Bible says I am seated with Christ in where? Heavenly places. Where? Far above. Everyone say far above. Say it again. <clears throat> Far above principalities and powers. Those are the language of the name of demons. You are far above them. 
And the Bible says, He that is above is greater than all. Hallelujah. So why are you afraid? So victorious living, live victory. So that what Jesus Christ has programmed your destiny will be made manifest. It is victorious living. He said it is finished. But you are saying something is it's not finished. They say your sin is finished. Something is remind you. What of the one you, 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 you committed two years ago? He said it is finished. Somebody say no. It is a potential that will kill you. The way he killed your papa. It is not finished. It is in your family. It has killed them in your family. Is this a potential that will kill you? Does that make sense? But Jesus said it is finished. Praise God. He has paid the price. Ah, he said it is finished. Ah, poverty is in my, in my generation. Eh? So because of that, I know I will continue to manage it. In fact, my case is my own better than my generation. But he said poverty is finished. He became poor that you might be rich. He became sick that you might live in health. Alright? He took the shame so that you might have the glory. What else? He said it is finished. Why are you still holding on to what is finished? The pride that is paid. Why are you still holding on to it in your heart? Why don't you believe that he said it is finished so it is finished? He has paid for it. Exchange has taken place on the cross. And I am free. It is finished. Sin shall not have dominion over me. Let me tell you, that sin that said that you must commit to against God. God said it will not have dominion over you. Because Jesus said that the power of sin is finished on the cross. Even death. He died that you might believe. So it is finished. I said it is finished. Can you rise up? Preach to five people and say it is finished. Rise up. To walk around and say it is finished. It is finished. Your shame is finished. Your struggle is finished. Your pain is finished. Your shame is finished. Poverty is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Lift up your right hands and begin to thank God because the Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price. Give him praise this morning and say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you have done for me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. If you understand what God is saying this morning, worship the Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. You will not be put to shame because he has taken your shame. Sickness will not kill you because he has bought your sicknesses and your diseases. He said it is finished. Poverty is not your portion because he became poor that you might be rich. That is the exchange that took place on the cross. It was an exchange. He paid. Paid everything. And said it is finished. So that you might live in the newness of life. It is finished. You can't fail that exam. Success is your portion. Because he said it is finished. Failure is cancelled. All what you need to do is to cooperate with Jesus. Ah, if I read, I don't understand. Ah, ignorance and lack of understanding is finished on the cross. You are the one to say, I have a new brain. You are a new creature. I have a new brain. I have a new level of assimilation. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is what it means. That you have taken the strength of Jesus. You have released. He has taken everything against you on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray. We have started with prayer. Let's end with prayer. Can you speak to God? And challenge that thing that is troubling your life. With what you have had this morning, I said, it is finished. You this sickness, you are ending today. It is finished. Fear in my life. This is your hand today. It is finished. Shame, you are not my portion. <clears throat> it is finished. Poverty. Pack your loads and go. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth now and pray. It is finished. You must pray according to revelation. Not just making noise and prayers. It is finished. 
challenge the devil in your life. Challenge the spirit of fear. Challenge the spirit of oppression. I said, what are you waiting for? My Savior said, he has paid the price, is finished. I command you, oh yeah, pack your loads and go now. You cannot oppress me. It is finished. I take authority over you. It is finished. Uh -uh, you can't trouble me. My future is bright. My future will shine. Jesus Christ, the Bible said it is finished and there was darkness over every place. And the next thing, he went to the grave and he rose up in early in the morning. You are going to have light. Jesus has taken away your darkness so that you may have light. I do have a little to pray about this morning. Take over. Let the exchange that has happened over 2,000 years ago. Can you get your own profit now? Get your benefit of the cross. Get your benefit this morning in the name of Jesus. Challenge the devil. That is the victory, victory, victorious living. Challenge Satan. Don't beg them. Command them this morning. Command them this morning. I say, I know my right now. I am a new creation. I know my right now. You cannot oppress me. I hope my right now. You cannot shame me. In the name of Jesus. Devil, I command you. Demons, I command you. I exercise authority over the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break every shame. Are you praying? I break every shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious. In the name of Jesus. I am victorious. I have the authority to live victoriously. Jesus has prayed for it. I take over all that belongs to me. Redemption has made them available. I take over. My health I take over. My prosperity I take over. My future I take over. My sources I take over. In Jesus name we pray. There's somebody I will say I don't have anybody that will help me. Keep your mouth shut. You have Jesus. And that is the most important thing. I don't have father. I don't have mother. And so the devil wants you to go a wrong way. To go and join bad, bad gang. To use to, to waste your life. It is just Satan's trap. But I want to tell you. It doesn't matter. It is not a matter of who you know. Or who you have. It is a matter of Jesus that you have. He will raise hell for you. He will open doors for you. He will connect you. This month, he will connect you. <clears throat> this year, you will finish it well. Can you pray, say, my father, in the name of Jesus, I possess everything that Calvary has released for me. Say, he redeem all things. What are the other things you want this morning? Begin to take it. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I take over. He has redeemed all things. Everything that is taken away, I take it back. He has redeemed all things. Everything is yours. All things are yours. You are a child of God. You are a child of the King. All things are yours. Just believe as you are praying. Just believe that your story is changed today. That project, there is a way. That your work, doors are open. All things he has yours by Calvary, by the blood of Jesus Christ. He has made all things good for you. Begin to possess all that belongs to you. Say, I take over every territory. Take over your territory. Take over your territory. Take over that business in your business line. Say, I take over in the name of Jesus Christ. All things are mine. If you are doing food business, I take over. If you are doing tailoring business, I take over that territory. If you are doing, doing, you know, doing fashion business, I take over that territory. If you are selling things, I take over. In your career, yes, next level in your career. Connection in your career. That God should launch you out to greater heights. Every closed door. 
begin to open in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that is with me let me because he has done great things hallelujah share the grace when you are saying hey man I'm ministering to you I'm not just praying I'm ministering to you that God I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that God launches you to the path of victory from today every life of struggle comes to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ the power of the cross the cross has effects let the effect of the cross begin to cross out every negative trend in your life in the name of Jesus by the power of the cross the death of Jesus and the blood that was shed by the exchange that took place on the cross I say every negativity over your life is swallowed by the blood it is swallowed <clears throat> but to every handwriting that is against you is nailed to that cross that day where the exchange church took place I pray today every handwriting that has written against you everything that is against your life and well being are today by the power of the cross they are crushed they are destroyed the yokes are broken from today you have been running you will run no more today you have been from today you have been afraid you will fear no more you will leave this place victorious as you have given your life to Jesus for those who have come to the altar to surrender their heart and as men as say Jesus I surrender myself to you I say from today I launch you into victorious living go out there and possess your possession go out there and begin to succeed Go out there and begin to succeed. Go out there, demonstrate your authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is killing others will not kill you. The fear that, demoral, that, that, that demoralize, demoralizing people will not demoralize you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your poverty is redeemed on the cross. And therefore I prophesy prosperity. That everything you lay your hands upon as you labor with your hands begin to succeed. 
let there be prosperity let there be growth let there be expansion in the name of Jesus thank you father oh there are so many to learn from the victory that Jesus has purchased for us I pray the knowledge of the almighty shall be yours your understanding be open thank you father this week for you to know God is starting anew with you I pray this week you will have testimony that contract you will get it that customer will locate you that help will come to your vital steps oh some of you your children will soon resume ah school fees payment of school fees shall not be difficult God shall make way for you in the name of Jesus Christ for those who are sick receive your healing now what killed your parents will not kill you anything called family sickness in the name of Jesus terminated from your life in the name of Jesus Christ come on walk in victory come on walk in prosperity come on walk in glory so shall it be I bless you in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit may he cause his face to shine upon you may you grant you peace abundant peace in all the areas of your lives for in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Amen. in Jesus shall we share the grace in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen and surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And who are you? I am a tree planted by the rivers of waters. I shall bring forth my fruit in the season. My leaves shall not wither and whatsoever I do shall prosper. Amen. Shout hallelujah! Come on victorious hallelujah!